I am called uh, Mugunde Amos and I work for Africa Improved Foods as the marketing assistant. I've been with the company since 2017 January. So One Young World is a charity based in uh, uh, the UK. It was started uh, by uh, one Kate and uh, David in, back in 2009. Uh, what does it take to be part of the summit? Uh, so One Young World targets uh, uh, leaders, young leaders or young professionals from different companies all over the world. So what happens is that since they want everyone to get involved, regardless of whether they can afford it or not, they uh, engage uh, different companies to put up certain scholarships, of which I was very lucky to be, uh, to be a beneficiary. So I got a DSM scholarship and uh, that's how I attended One Young World. So many other delegates uh, 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 pass through uh, the same procedure. One Young World uh, summits happen in uh, different countries. Uh, for instance, this year uh, the summit was held in The Hague in the Netherlands, and next year uh, it will be uh, held in, the, uh, in London, UK. What was the summit about? Uh, this is a broad question. Uh, One Young World, as I said, it gathers uh, young professionals from all over the world, from different companies, universities, etc. So what happens is when they get these young professionals together, they get them to brainstorm about the world's most pressing issues. So uh, these issues are facing this generation, the young generation. So what One Young World does is give them a platform to express their views and also find solution for the same problems that they are facing. The experience was really amazing. Like I got to learn so many ideas. I got to meet so many people. Uh, as you know, uh, your network is your net worth. So I consider it to be a privilege that I got to be a part of One Young World. Uh, putting that aside, uh, there were so many keynote speakers. And these are people that lead big organization, big companies all over the world. Uh, for me to get a chance to listen from them and uh, to get uh, uh, their view on what they think about uh, young people and what they think about uh, the status of the world right now, it was very amazing to, you know, uh, to get their views on these, uh, on these issues. Uh, I was very privileged to meet a person like uh, Yunus Muhammad and, uh, you know, he had a very serious topic that, you know, uh, uh, brought a debate. So he was talking about uh, artificial intelligence, how it's going to uh, outsmart uh, humans, things like that. Things that we really need to think about right now as we go into artificial intelligence and as we go into uh, these very complex innovations. Uh, people like uh, Terry Crews who managed to share his experience uh, the domestic violence in uh, uh, watching his father beat up the mother who was growing up. So by him sharing all these stories, I think it impacted in one way or the other on all the delegates that were there because these same issues we face. Uh, we also managed to interact with uh, uh, so many young leaders uh, who have done amazingly well where they come from. Uh, politicians, you have uh, social entrepreneurs, you have intrapreneurs, uh, all these people like us sitting on one table and uh, you know brainstorming on how we can make the world a better place was really amazing for me. Privileged and honored uh, to uh, be uh, the person that uh, was chosen to take part on behalf of AIF and uh, my country. Uh, in the Hague. Uh, as you very well know, uh, African Proof Foods, uh, you know, is a company that uh, not only produces nutritious products, but we also put in mind that at least we are causing a significant impact in the markets that we operate in. Uh, at the summit, uh, one of uh, the CEO, the CEO of DSM, and DSM happens to be uh, the biggest shareholder of African Proof Foods. Uh, he gave a speech that was so touching and the whole crowd uh, uh, was so touched and uh, they really loved it. So it was about African Proof Foods and the impact it has so far uh, caused in Rwanda 
and uh, and the East African region at large. Yeah, uh, the rest of the world might not know uh, the problems that uh, Africa faces because uh, uh, maybe uh, they're given a different image of Africa and things like this. But uh, for African poor foods to exist in Africa is not only helping to curb the problem of malnutrition or stunting is also impacting on other people's lives like the farmers who sell their produces to us to the employees you know who get a salary on a monthly uh, basis so it's a company that you know is very impactful in all ways and uh, it was very amazing for me uh, to share the story to the rest of the world at the summit So what's my message to uh, young professionals? Uh, my message is that uh, please take up uh, key leadership roles, take up challenges. Once you're given a challenge by your managers, your supervisors, please don't hesitate. Take on these challenges because it's through these challenges that you know you'll get even much bigger positions. This is how you're gonna grow. So. Uh, Put in mind that you are the leader of today, not the leader of tomorrow, because you're not sure of tomorrow, tomorrow might never come.